I know you're sitting on some tea. I know you're sitting on some tea. Baby, it is too much shit going on today. It's July the 7th, 2015, and it's so much shit popping off. I said there is no better. <laughs> I have got to do a tea video. Too much shit going on. It's just it's just so much. So let's go and get into it. Let's start from the most recent shit that just happened. Um, Drea, girl, that motherfucker dropped you like a hot potato, bitch. A hot, light-skinned potato with too much damn butter, bitch. Damn. So, Drea Boo called up in the game. It ain't been a damn week. And he been said, baby, I done had enough. I done had enough of y'all. Yes, honey. I done had a long day. Justin J done had a long day. I'm tired as hell. I'm ir irritated. And I just want to get to this tea. But back to you, Miss Drea, girl. For you to be the finest, you know, light-skinned bitch on the planet, you can't keep no damn man to save your damn life. And you can't keep your child, honey. Well, the only thing to keep him is, your, <laughs> is that damn empty-ass house you left his ass in. But that's so sad. Like, it, I, I remember, you know, in the shade room putting up like a week, you know, saying that she was engaged. We was all clapping. But this is the thing. Like, some stuff don't need to be something. Some stuff just does not need to be posted. Some stuff you just, you know, just be quiet. Stop telling folks what you're doing. Just do the shit and just prove us wrong. Because, girl, some shit backfired and you're going to look like boo boo the damn fool. Okay? Hmm. Just be honest on this, Adria, girl. In case y'all didn't know, the, the, the engagement is off, you know, I guess she going to um, sell us some more tight-ass bathing suits. You know, more power to a drag girl. I wish you the best, you and your pink clit, okay? Where's going on, Tiger, honey? Bitch, I got to take me a drink for this. Miss Tiger got so much shit going on today. Miss Tiger, I woke up on Twitter last night. Or when was that? And Tiger, big-ass... Light skin dick was all around Twitter, honey. Just every damn where, just everywhere. And I'm just like, it was a cute ping. But who leaked this picture? So as we did further investigating and find out that they're saying some transsexual um was the one that had Tiger's um dick picture and exposed. And the transsexual said something about this two or three years ago that she had a relationship, alleged relationship with Tiger. So she, you know, and she been throwing plenty of shade on the Instagram, baby. Plenty um shade. I guess she know what she said. She know what size it is and what it looks like. It ain't nothing to do. Just, Tiger, you need to clean it up, honey. Now, I don't know if it's true that, but they said you said some real homophobic shit in the past. So if this is true and you've had a relationship with somebody in my LGBT community, I'm going to read the dog shit out of you. But I'm going to wait till everything comes to the surface like your penis did. Okay, because she was she was up, honey. Was it, Did you have to use the restroom? Did you have to piss? Was that morning wood? It was a cute peen, honey. I'm not surprised. Child Tiger is about as, about as thick as my left toe. Okay? So, of course, he's going to have a big, old, long donkey dick. That is that is nothing new. Anytime men be slim like that and skinny child, trust and believe they got a bat between their legs. Uh, now, some you know, sometimes it might be some coincidences, you know, where you know they don't, but you know, ones I know, it, it, it is what it is. Okay, and Tiger, you is no exception, honey. That, that thing ping, who was so pretty though? It was so pretty. The head was just beautiful. I, I, I'm getting a little X-rated, so let me stop talking about that. So the transsexual, you know, that's both, but we don't know. Tiger said he know who did, and he going and his lawyers are on the case, and they are gonna find out, and somebody else is gonna go to jail now. Somebody else is gonna go to jail. It is. He said, ain't nobody gonna. Y'all ain't finna get away and just have my penis up, and I ain't get no check out of it. Okay, y'all, somebody gonna pay, and somebody gonna be held responsible for these actions. So, baby, I hope that ain't true, honey. So. While all this tea was being spilled, while all this tea was, tea was being spilled with Tiger, child, <laughs> about this, we had two predominant 
Bloggers get into it, honey. Let me go and get it because it's too crowded in this damn room. I gotta turn some noise on, some shit. I feel like a ghost gonna pop up on my ass or some shit. Or Tamar gonna hop, hop right under this um plastic bin or some shit. So let me turn some on and see what's going on. Turn this TV so throwback ass TV girl. I cannot deal. Like, girl, is, is she warming up? Nah, 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 nah. Get your ass on. I turned the TV on, what, 10 seconds ago? She just not coming on? Girl, throwback ass shit. But anyway, let me mute this, honey. I don't know what's going on. I just, I just need some noise. It's just too quiet. I feel like somebody after my ass or some shit. Maybe somebody going to get me for exposing the tea. I feel like Kermit, bitch. I'm just exposing the tea. Folks going to come for me. So... B. Scott and this guy named Jason, honey, was going at it, baby. Jason had came and said that, you know, B. Scott is some, he, you, 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 uh, you got some nerve to be spilling all this tea about, you know, Tiger, you know, dating a transsexual, and then you got what you got going on. And it's just kind of, it's, you know, you look like a hypocrite. It's just, it's real foolish. And Jason did kind of have a point. I agree with him to a certain extent. But I, at the same time, I have to look at Jason as like, Jason, are you giving us this because you feel some type of way or you move by it or do you want some type of relevance for it? So I guess B. Scott responded and said some shit. Clap. Well, he clapped back and he said, leave the blog until people who actually got get paid for it. Baby. Baby. And Mr. Jason pulled the T's up and said, Bitch, you need to pay your rent first, okay? You don't be worried about me. You need to find out have to pay some electricity and some uh, <laughs> and stop sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Jason pulled up their court order, but I didn't see Beast. I don't know. I guess it's Brandon. It's his real name. So the, he put up a, and it had some shit talking about eviction or some type of stuff, child. Let me tell you something, girl. It, it, let's not talk about what was. Let's talk about what's right now. And B. Scott is doing the damn thing now. I just, I don't care what you said. Even though he sued the shit out of, B, um, out of BET for shading his head, he still went there and he still sat there and enjoyed his time. You know, we saw him on TV. So, to me, B. Scott slick one. And he moved on swift and professionally. Like, you can't, even though you did what you did to me, I'm still going, this is a, a pla this is a nice platform I still respect and I will still be, she, just graceful, just graceful. So, I don't really have any problem with B. Scott. That's the thing, like, at the same time, B. Scott does do what he does, but it, it comes to the consequence when you do other things. Like, like, well, you know, you run a blog site, and you talk about people and all the time. So, so people expect you not to be human because you do certain things. But B. Scott don't write all those articles. His name is just on it. He don't sit, it, B. Scott is not at the house typing up these articles. Somebody is getting paid, and somebody is putting that shit up for him, and his name is on it, and they're speaking just like him. Honey, bloggers and vloggers do it all the time. Well, bloggers do it all the time. They don't have time to be... A lot of days don't type up all that shit by them damn self. But, y'all yeah, check this shit out because that is some... But they're going back and forth. And I just hope they keep on doing it so I can keep on laughing because the shit is fun. I want to see more tea. Because, baby, Mr. Jason said, I got some shit that's going to make you delete your damn Instagram. So, what is that? We're going to find out B. Scott is a top? Is he a real woman? Does he don't douche before he have sex? Find out on the next episode of Bottoms Getting Together. Girl, tired ass shit. <laughs> what else is to talk about? Um, Nene Leakes ends up leaving the um, Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise, which I'm not surprised at all. Uh, Nene, Nene has ran her course. She's done what she had to do. And it's just time to, it's just time to leave that shit alone. It's just really tired. It's like, Nene, you've done your thing. It's just like, the storyline can't get any more interesting. You said what you had to say. You did this and that. It's just like, it's nothing really else to say about that shit. So I'm glad and honest that she's not She's not coming back. I'm very, very excited that she's not. And it's not going to bother me. I don't feel like the show is going to change. Because to be honest, last season, she wasn't on there that, that, that much. As versus she was on season five. So um, I, it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to do it. And who will be the next... Um, person that people are going to attack to feel some type of way. I, I, it's going to be interesting to see that. But they saying Claudia Joy was not, Claudia Jordan was not fired. Or, blah, 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 she ain't let go. Girl, who gives a damn? Fuck Claudia Jordan ass. I still love you though, Claudia Jordan, if you ever speak to me. What else was going on? An ignorant ass 
fucking news this week. Donald Trump has got to be the most ignorant fool on the face of his on this earth. And the fact that we keep talking about talking about him and bringing attention to him lets me know that he's really not a damn fool. Let me tell you how to fight and get rid of people like Donald Trump. Because there are people like Donald Trump. You have to ignore their asses. They're going to keep saying dumb ass shit to get your attention. They're going to keep saying shit that people are too scared to say. That some people actually believe in. Even though some most people don't agree with Donald Trump, there are some shit that people there people feel the same way Donald Trump feels. They feel the same, but he's just strong enough to say it and take it, and he makes he gets attention from it. And there's no such thing necessarily as bad publicity because you're still getting paid to you know you making these appearances. Your name is still being mentioned. You're still trending. All that type of stuff. But Donald Trump, at the same time, I'm glad that these companies are stepping, uh, sticking up um, and standing up on your ass, standing up on that dusty ass, crop dusted ass wig on your damn head. I'm glad that they're telling you that it's enough is enough, that these racist comments and these idiotic ass comments will not, you know, we, we will not be a part of. I'm just glad. I'm very, very glad. And, you, and you're just very stupid. And, you know, you. I just wish you just shut the fuck up. I, I, and I hate to say it, but, bruh. I, I, I'm ready for you to go. I don't know where you're going, but I'm just ready for you to go. I'm ready for you to go because I'm tired of seeing you. And that whole speech you gave when you were talking on that dumb shit, you had that damn white fucking shit all in the crack of your damn mouth that made me want to throw the fuck up. Okay? So you need to, you should have got somebody to get you a damn napkin or a bounty, the quicker, quicker pick up or a bounty to get that damn shit out your damn mouth. Because I couldn't pay attention to what the hell you were saying and that shit just hanging out the damn mouth like it's a damn piece of, piece of damn dust ass tissue hanging off your shitty ass mouth. You dumb ass fool. So I'm glad they, um, they Macy's let his ass go. And it's, um, I think NBC kind of just like cutting it just, it's elimination time, bitches. So I'm excited. Good. I done had enough of Donald Trump's stupid ass. Um, let me tell you, I'm going to talk about some other dumb ass shit. This don't judge me, um, challenge, whatever the shit y'all doing, where y'all face be fucked up and y'all do this dumb ass shit. Then you come back and you say, man, oh, bitch, I got, oh, oh, oh. Ha, ah, face ass. Let me tell you, this, this, this shit has got to be some of the dumbest shit. And I'm just sick of the of these challenging and these stupid ass video. And some of you folk keep doing this shit. And it's just like, what is the purpose of it? Because the Don't Judge Me challenge is supposed to be like, just because, I'm, to me, I think about Don't Judge Me like I am now. I have on these itty bitty ass shorts. Some flip flops and then my favorite no shade shirt. My hair was not cur cut earlier. My beard is not combed, but I, to me, I just look average. I could comb myself up, brush my hair, I get these waves on point, and all that type of stuff, and be around here pooching around looking cute. But I don't feel like I have to, so don't think that it, you know because you see me right now that I, that I look bad all the time. That's what I get from don't judge me. But I also get, and this is the reverse. You people put on, some of you all put on all this makeup, all this type of shit, because you need validation. You need somebody to tell you that you're attractive. You need somebody to tell you that you're beautiful. Uh, you need somebody to tell you. You people, like, it just, you just need some type of attention. And let me tell you how some makeup does wonders, okay? Some of y'all, I'm going to have to hit on some pretty, pretty hair. Because some of y'all are pretty on the outside, but y'all are nasty as shit on the inside. Let me tell y'all something. Okay? Speaking from experience, the guy that I stayed with, who I was um in the apartment with, he was the finest dude. I Probably the top five most attractive guys I've ever talked to in my life. But baby, when I went in there and washing machine, when I went in there washing and put them clothes in their dryer, and put them clothes out of the dryer and seen that big ass skid mark on them damn drawers, that just let me know. That baby, he was a beautiful young man, but he was a shitty ass person on the inside, and that's why he had them shit stained ass drawers. Okay, never in my life, and he was abusing a damn animal, abusing a damn animal. So he was ugly on the inside. Some of these folks, that's all they have because they know they fucked up. And you be wondering why when you see these folks and they that attractive, 
why they single? Think about that. Because it might be some stuff. It, 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 it might really be some real, 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 real stuff. That Not saying that all people that are attractive have to be in some type of relationship. Or or any or the, the cute people just have to be in a relationship period. But some of these people, it's just it's kind of question like, girl, you doing all this stuff for attention? And some of, and you know I know some of these folks be in relationships. But, bitch, it's funny, ain't it? Y'all tickled, ain't it? Okay, tickle my stomach, face ass folk. So it just says a lot about people who, especially folks that be in a relationship, but feel like they need some type of attention. Have you ever seen somebody that's in a relationship? And baby, I have to give us. Let's just start touching my spirit. People that be in relationships, but be doing the most, be doing the most. Like, girl, what you? What are you? You got a man? Why do you need to be in your damn drawers in your picture? Why do you need to put up these elusive ass pictures? And you know what? When I talk about that, I can even talk about the fact that some of these folks who be in relationship and feel the need they need to put a picture of, of some two two hands and shit and two feet and your hand on his hand while he's driving and shit. Girl, let me tell you, hold something. Bitch, y'all ain't celebrities, and nobody gives a fuck about you in your damn relationship, okay? You are not no damn celebrity, bitch. I don't give a damn if you do have 2,000 followers on Instagram. Nobody gives a shit about your under 30,000 making ass who you hugged up and booed up with. No one gives a shit, bitch. You are not Khloe Kardashian. You are not Kim Kardashian, ho. You are not Caitlyn Jenner. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You are not on a TV show. Nobody is following you around. There are no paparazzi taking pictures of your ass to care about who you in a relationship and who you date with. Bitch, either you're going to put up the picture of this nigga or not. Okay? All this elusive ass dumb shit gets on my damn nerve. Oh, don't nobody care. I be want to tell you bitch so much when they be doing that dumb ass shit. Girl, don't nobody give a fuck but your dumb ass. You just want somebody to say, girl, who is that? Da, 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 da. And I ain't going to do them but talk about your stupid ass because they don't do them a screenshot of shit and send it to me. Dumb ass shit. Stop that shit. This elusive shit. Unless you're a celebrity and you need to be training some shit. Unless you're selling some type of product besides waist trainers and skin tea, bitch. Shut that dumb ass shit down. Go sit the fuck down. What else is going on? Tired of talking about relationship. Remy Ma finna be on Love and Hip Hop New York. I really don't give two doggone shit. Somebody told me about this shit early. I don't watch Love and Hip Hop New York. I'm not a big fan of Remy Ma. I think she's talented, but I just don't. Love and Hip Hop New York does not do shit for me. It does not make my bowels move. It does not make me fool with the inside. It does not touch and grieve my spirit. I don't watch it. I will never review it. It's not enough money in the world. Maybe watch that boring ass show and these hoes sleeping on the, on the mattress with no headboard. I can't do it. And with dirty carpet. I cannot. Um, Myth hits. I'm going to have to have a come to Jesus meeting with your stupid ass. Because you know what? You is the dumbest dog skin nigga I have ever ran across in 2015. How in the hell your dumb celebrity ass going to be pistol whipping motherfucker? Whatever the hell your ass be doing. And then get arrested. Like, I don't understand. And like, me and Fitz, like, girl, you really added more insult to injury. We already know that your ass is batshit crazy. Now you're around here fighting folks. and Girl, you need to get, and Toya, I'm so glad you got your stupid egghead ass out of that shit. I'm glad you saved yourself from that foolishness. Because ain't no telling that man would have probably killed you. Because he's like, he got some serious issues going on. For a dark-skinned man to be crazy, okay, it must be some serious issues. It must. And I'm, let me stop because mental illnesses are real. Let me tell you something. Someone who has fought depression and all that type of stuff, and, and you know, it's, it's a very serious issue. So I'm not going to clown too much on it, but he needs some help. Myth hits. Find you some help, bruh. Get this shit together. Do what you need to do. Um, K. Michelle says she's not doing it on albums. She tired. She finna take her ass to another country. Girl, I just hope you got two seats for that fat ass boot of yours that you bought. What else is talking about? Bill Cosby. Child, we've been talking about Bill Cosby and him damn acting like Morpheus would take this pill or this pill for the longest. And so finally, he admitted that he been drugging these bitches. And he been dicking their ass down with the good old fucking dick. And we just don't know how to take it. Shit. Eggs fix me some grits. Is it the way? Jill Scott didn't even know how to take it. 
She didn't know what to say. She she couldn't even fix no damn crispy. She couldn't even put the cheese in the damn eggs and scramble that hoe up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, fix me some bacon. Girl, fix me some pills so I can drop any whole drinks. Nah, 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 nah. Finna fuck these hoes. Nah, 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 nah. So, <laughs> be a be a Cosby. Be a Cosby, girl. She said she done did it. Be a Cosby. <laughs> did not know that B standing for <laughs> bamboozle, man. <laughs> I just don't know. It's, it's, I'm just, you know what, Bill Cosby, me and my um, co-worker were talking about this last night. And we just feel like that Bill Cosby must finna go on to glory. He just really doesn't care anymore. His eye already cocked to the side, leaning over to the left. So, it's just like, at this point, Bill Cosby probably really doesn't care anymore. He's probably just tired. He's just like, girl, I raped them women. I did that shit. I don't know what to tell y'all ass. You know, just just let me be. Let me be. Let me let me go. Just let me go on go. I done did some bad shit in my life, but I'm you know, I don't know what to say. Bill Cosby, that's really sad. And I can't not say it on a surprise because everybody has a fault. Everybody everybody has some type of fault. But to, but to drug people and do that type of stuff, I just don't know. I don't understand. And I know some fine ass people are um in this world, but I don't think I can ever be able to do that. Just to just um drug somebody and just to take that goodies. But I'm gonna pray for you, Bill Scott. As a matter of fact, be be a card. I'm gonna pray for you. That's power he is right now. I'm asking you right now to not only touch the glaucoma in his eye, but to touch his hand so he can't pick up no bill pills and dropping in no more drink. The only thing he needs to be dropping in somebody's drink is some B C powder or an alka seltzer. I'm asking you to touch both of them eyes and let them be on the same page. Let them touch and agree with them so they can be separate and equal. Okay? I'm asking you to help him touch his stomach. Get rid of the metformin that's trapped inside his stomach. Do something about him. Just touch his, touch his problem. Touch his ankle. Touch his mouth so he can stop talking this foolishness. Touch his wife because she about as ignorant. She don't know what's going on. She, 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 she don't know what's going on. Just touch her so she can just be able to see the light. Maybe she got glaucoma in her eyes too. Touch her eyes too so she can be able to see and she can be, her eyes will not be wide shut. Let them be wide open so she can know lead this man and let him go into glory by his damn self because he was lying and buffooning her ass. She got the, her ass sitting here looking like Mother Mary and she just don't know what's going on. She looking, just looking like she just so sweet but just, just look like she supposed to be some of baking cookies. But the only thing she's going to be baking is these contracts to help her man get out of this, these um, things that he'll get. I'm just asking you to touch their whole marriage because I know it's shaky. Shaky is that mustache under his lip. I'm asking you to touch Bill Cosby and touch his wife and have them on the same page. You don't have to turn the page. It's sad. I don't know what to say. I pray for you, Bill Cosby. Okay, you know when folks say they pray for you, they ain't doing shit. I'm saying that when folks say they're going to pray for you, the only people who say they're going to actually pray be grandma. Now, grandma, but she'll be, because my grandma, she'll be down there 30, 45 minutes, child, praying, praying, praying. And MLG and W is still on the way to turn her lights out, girl. So I just don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. In other news, um, I'm doing very, very well. Um... I just had to take a break. It was so much shit going on today. I got a lot of shit going on. You all know about the accident that I had. Trey ran into my damn car and drove off, honey. I'm going to tell you all about that in the later video, honey, because I got to get my energy up to even talk about that loud ass shit. But, um, <laughs> I'm not going to deal with Trey Vaughn. Send me this damn Lisa Nicole and, um, and, um, Quad. Child, that damn fight or whatever that shit was. Lisa Nicole, dumbass, tripping off her old common sense that she left on the damn floor, eating ass woman. How you just strip and fall out of nowhere? You was a dumbass broad, um, Lisa Nicole. And for you to nerd for you to even say something about Quad being in a last minute. Girl, that was a weak, tired ass last minute read. Okay? You you just didn't have anything else. That's the best that you had. 
was to talk about she was a lesbian. I don't see it with Quad. Quad ain't eating no punani. Her forehead are getting away. She won't even be able to see the. She won't even be able to find a G spot. That big ass crash bandicoot ass forehead. She won't be able to do shit. So I don't believe that shit. And girl, you got other shit to be worried about. You need to be worried about your hub and get rid of that tired ass Jerry Carroll, okay? It is 2015, ho, and your man is late. Not only to um get another bitch pregnant, but late fucking your dumb ass too. Your slim booty uh, phone book built ass girl. That's all I got. Follow me on Twitter, JustinJ1232. Follow me on Instagram. Like my Facebook page, JustinJ1232. And I talk to y'all later. I know you're sitting on some tea. I know you're sitting on some tea. Let me pooch my ass onto this bed, honey. I got sleep.